Hello, welcome back to my puzzling channel. In this video, I put together a 750 piece candy themed Seiko puzzle. This puzzle is available in a set of 8 from the Calendar Club, and there's a link to it in the description box. I love candy, and this puzzle is super colorful, so it was a lot of fun to do. Like most other puzzles, I began by sorting the edges from the rest but I also sorted everything by color at the same time to save myself a step afterwards. I made piles of blue, green, red, pink, yellow and orange together, and then miscellaneous colors. The last pile included more neutral colors like black, brown, and white, as well as anything with multiple colors on it. After sorting, I put together the perimeter of the puzzle. My first strategy for completing this was to put together as much of the green parts of the puzzle as I could because there were the fewest of these pieces and only three areas in which they could be found. There is a big green gumball in the bottom left of the puzzle and putting this together first gave me an anchor point for some of the other textures and it just seemed like a good place to start. After this I moved to the pink, red, and blue sugar texture. I continued in this manner for a little while longer working on the textures or colors that stood out to me until I started to get a bit stuck. sudden change of background here. I'm trying to improve my videos as I learn things and in order to make the colors as true as possible I wanted to have something white in the background so I could do a white balance and have that as a reference point. I also found that using the white background helped me see the puzzle pieces a bit better as I was working on the puzzle so I'll probably keep using this. I wanted to eliminate some of the pieces with this kind of stripe texture and these pieces were part of a gloss jar that appears in the top right corner of the puzzle. I thought this would be one of the most challenging parts but it ended up being a lot easier because I was able to orient the pieces into the position they belonged. This allowed me to get rid of quite a few pieces in my sorting trays and allow me to see the rest of the pieces at once.
listening. Make sure you stay tuned until the end to see me take it all apart. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.